Hello everyone, it's Argo here. I hope you are having a wonderful day, but I wanted to make a video um, on the upcoming update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. I know uh, the last video we had for the update said it was going to be late January, so we should have a video in the next week or two, but I wanted to uh, release a video on my thoughts of what I would love to see. Um, these things are most likely going to be not happen, <laughs> But these are the top five things that I personally would love to see in the next update or the next update or two. While um, we do a little housekeeping, we're, I'm going to show a little footage of uh, me going around talking to my villagers. All right, so we will start our, number, our list now um, with our top things that we would love to see in the next few updates on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's go! Alright, number one on the list will definitely be able to customize your plaza or the resident services building. I know this is a big ask, but I think this would definitely be something that Nintendo could incorporate and it would definitely distinguish island to island and it would give a little bit more flavor if you can change the brick pattern the actual building itself maybe even your um your your post board um your flag pole color the lamp post in the back um you don't necessarily need to drop items on it but i wish you could at least have some options almost like when you're customizing your house and they could very much do like a quest line almost like the beginning of the game where tom nook needs you to collect a certain amount of materials or get a certain amount of items or a certain item for him to be able to customize the um plaza i think that would be an amazing touch and it would be so awesome to see people's um, what they can do with it and what they can customize it and it would definitely make the plaza much much more special and be able to um, design around it. I think that would be an amazing touch and it's something that would be very, very easy for Nintendo to do. Number two on the list would be to upgrade the Nook's Cranny. Um, I have a few different thoughts of how we can upgrade it. Um, it could also be the same thing what I mentioned in our, my first thing is have some kind of quest line where um, Timmy and Tommy needs a certain amount of materials or needs certain items so they can upgrade. They can upgrade the second floor. They can um, have some kind of NPC in there. I know a lot of people would want to see Brewsters, but I think Brewster in the Nooks could work. But any, any other kind of NPC would be amazing, and I really, really hope we can upgrade our Nooks very, very soon. Number three on the list would be a tease for Brewster in the next update. So basically two updates right now. And I think what they do, I know in the previous games, Brewster was in the museum. I personally would like to see him not in the museum and have his own stand. And they can do almost like a coffee stand or coffee little shop that's a very smaller uh, uh, item or you know building that's not necessarily take up so much space, but you can kind of put it wherever you want. Number four on the list will be new clothing lines. The Ables need a refresher. They need something to refresh their inventory. Um, we're almost up to a year now and we need more clothing options. Um, whether it's gonna be specific um, clothing lines or new colors of everything or a little variation, um, it would be a very, very easy touch and a little bit um, just you know more items just so we can have uh, different options of what we would like to wear number five on the list would be mini games multiplayer for you and your friends i would love for our dock to actually get some use and for a boat to come up whether it's captain or another npc if they want to introduce a new npc and they bring us over to a island of mini games and whether it's Tortimer or if it's a new NPC or if it's just not even an NPC over there and they just uh, bring us over there so we can have in-game mini games where we don't have to necessarily make them ourselves and we can just go over there we can invite our friends they would have to go over to their dock talk to the NPC at the boat 
and they can come over there and join us. That would be amazing. Almost same similar concept could be like the airport where you can look for friends that are currently over there or a friend that's over there. Go ahead and makes a code and your friends can join the code and you guys can go there and play mini games. And I would love for it to be even up to the eight players and you don't necessarily have to watch your friends come in on the boat. They can just kind of spawn or if you're over there first, um, you can play with two players, you can play three, you can play five, whatever it is. I think multiplayer games, mini games specifically, would be amazing and amazing, amazing touch. My last wish list, my very, very, very wish list, and I know a lot of people say it, has to be with these inclines and bridges. I know the rule with 16, and I get it. I just hope and I hope and I hope that they eventually will make it where you can have 16 total um, and not eight of each. So it would be great. So if you have an island where you want to build a lot of cliffs and have residential different buildings, you could have, you know, 14 inclines, but you are only allowed then two bridges or vice versa. You could have 11 bridges and five inclines, whatever really kind of you want to customize your island, however you would like it, whatever suits uh, um, fits, I think would be amazing. And it would definitely distinguish a lot of the islands with just that little small of a touch. Well, with that, that is my wish list for the next update. Um, let me know what, what are your thoughts? What do you hope or you think is going to happen in the um, next update that we will see? Hopefully we'll get the video next week. I'm, I'm going to guess my prediction is we're going to get the update video on Monday, the 25th. It's going to drop next video where it'll show Pave and hopefully some of these um, slight changes to the to the game will be introduced and it would just be lovely and it would revitalize Animal Crossing for year number two and we would just kick it off and have a lot of fun together and everyone everyone can keep enjoying Animal Crossing. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash Argo227 and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.